is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another very special edition of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, this episode is going to be all about Texans. Uh, it's the Texas Takeover episode. Um, great week for Texas boxing. Um, both cards, the ESPN card um, and then the, the PBC card here in California. Um, just tremendous. Four fighters, um, two from San Antonio, one from Fort Worth, uh, one from uh, the Valley. 4 and 0 all four uh one knockout 4 and 0 with one knockout uh Jesse Bam Rodriguez scoring a sensational first round knockout uh but this is the Texas takeover episode um Texas is, is now running boxing um it's the future of boxing there are so many uh, great young fighters from the Lone Star State and that was on full display um this weekend we're going to go just in order chronological order uh the first the first fight um, that featured the Texan was on the ESPN card. Um, Eddie.
on uh, the Jamel Heron card. Um, that was two Texans up and two and zero going into what we were all expecting. Uh, Jesse Bam Rodriguez, who's being hyped, who for good reason. Um, Bam is tremendous and. and At the fight that Bam's got cheat codes. I mean, it does look like he's got cheat codes. He fought a, a, a tough Puerto Rican, Janelle Rivera, who just went the distance with Duke Micah, a 115 pounder, not that long ago. In his last fight out, he went the distance with Duke, uh, Duke Micah in, in a 115 pound fight. You know, Bam's a 108 pounder. So he, he's a naturally bigger guy who, who went the distance with Duke Micah, and he got absolutely blown out by Bam Rodriguez in two minutes. Uh, Bam knocked him down twice, uh, knocked him down three times in. in Less than 120 seconds. Uh, knocking down the first time with a four-punch combination. That started with a left hook, a right hook to the body. Uh, Bam is a southpaw. Right hook to the body. And culminated with a right hook to the head. He dropped him again. Um, and then he finished him off with two blistering left hands that uh, brought in Russell Moore to wave and stop the fight off, you know, about a minute and 58 into it. This was supposed to be a challenge, right? Obviously, Bam was supposed to win, and he did. But Janelle Rivera... Is a good fighter. He was supposed to go rounds. He was supposed to push Bam Rodriguez, really make Bam work. That didn't happen. Uh, Jesse Bam Rodriguez was one of our, our prospects to watch, one of our uh, prospects, to, someone who could go from prospect to champion. He's all those things. He's also going to be our fighter of the week. And that'll be out tomorrow. Uh, he's all those things. Bam Rodriguez is uniquely talented. Um, offensively, he is spectacular. He's got power, speed, two-fisted power. He throws punches from all different kind of, kind of angles, and he works his angles. Um, he doesn't give you the same look. He comes after you, attacks you with different angles. Kid is 20 years old. I've been following him since he's 18. He's a special, unique talent. Not not too often does a 108-pounder or someone in really the small weight classes captivate the American audience, right? There's been a few. Ricardo Lopez, uh, Michael Carvajal. Um, Chocolatito Gonzalez, you know, they had they were drawers in America. You better knock people out if you're going to be that small, which those guys did. And Bam does that too. Uh, B- Bam is a guy that could run 108, 112, 115. He, he could be the American answer, the Texas answer to uh, Anuay. He, he's that good. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Bam, you're gonna he's just 20. You're going to see him for years to come. Uh, go back, watch the uh, ESPN Plus card. And, and, and check out Bam Rodriguez because he is absolutely special. Speaking of special talents,
levels ahead. Um, and he's going to be levels ahead until he starts fighting the, 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 the top guys. And this is a guy with world champion. We talk about Bam is a future world champion. Eddie Vasquez may be a world champion. Omar Juarez may be a world champion, too. So you're going to see a lot of world champions coming out of Texas. But Juarez looked really good. His skills, his speed and his skills are, are, are tremendous. Now it's just putting it all together. Uh, setting everything up off the jab, working off the jab, jabbing more, not getting into heat exchanges. Because you might be able to exchange with Linger and get hit by Linger and, and not be in serious trouble, but you don't want to do that against elite guys. Uh, Warriors is a guy who's uh, actually sparred with Tank Davis recently. He's got championship pedigree. So, you know, if you can go in and, and spar with, with Tank Davis and, and take shots from Tank Davis. Obviously, Linger isn't going to be, you know, Dakota Linger is not going to be any serious trouble for you, and he, and he wasn't. Juarez dominated the fight, um, but i like to see – look, it was a learning experience, right? He went in there. He traded. He exchanged. He went to the body a lot more. He fought a lot in the inside, which he may have to do at times, but it shouldn't be his game plan. He's so skilled from the outside. Just set these guys up and then land your power shots, and, and, and then once you hurt him, you can take him out. Uh there's not much not to like about Omar Warris. He's pretty pretty much complete. Like I said, there's a couple of things you can iron out, but you're going to see this kid at a world championship level within two to three years. Um, I think he's just 21 now. So again, these guys, Vasquez is 24, Bam is 20, Omar Warris is 21, and these are all possible future world champions. So that lone star is shining bright in Texas boxing. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know, of those three, who do you think will be the first two world title? Probably be Bam. Um, and, and, and the blacks can too, uh, Benjamin Whitaker with, with a sensational victory. Look, look really, really sharp. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please remember to like, and subscribe, um, hit the little bell icon, get the notifications every time we go live, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.